Well, hello, beauties, and welcome back to my channel. It has been forever, I know. Today, we will be making a Blue Lagoon face tonic. Those that know me personally and those that follow me for a while know that whenever I'm asked about my favorite color, I just freeze because I don't have an answer. It is not that simple and it is not a simple question. So I don't have a simple answer. I just equally love all colors. I admire all colors. Where am I going with this, you asked? Uh, bear with me. This particular project, I was inspired by my favorite drink, Blue Lagoon Latte, that I always have in the Secret Garden Dubai Mall and Leto London. A blue chia seed pudding that I make, a blue super fruit bowl that I make, a blue lagoon latte that I make. The star ingredient is malachite, which is a copper carbonate hydroxide mineral. It is a popular mineral with its intense green color and beautiful banded masses. The color basically is a mixture of bright green, dark green, blackish green with crystals, deeper shades of green, even a very dark to nearly black, commonly banded in masses. Green to yellowish green in transmitted light. I was indeed inspired by a pendant that I have from Mimia Leblanc. I just love that pendant. Why am I saying all those things? This is the product story. This is what you need for your marketing strategy. Now, let's talk ingredients, shall we? We will be needing distilled water or hydrosol of your choice, sodium PCA as a humectin. You can use propondyl or glycerin if you want to. Sodium phytate as a chelator. You can use EDTA. Diamond extracts for product story. Snow mushroom, which is 400 times as moisturizing as hyaluronic acid. Malachite extracts it is a strong antioxidant and this is the star ingredient it will give the product that very pretty color Afghan oil water soluble you can use shia 50 if you want to a solubilizer which is polysorbate 20 preservative germal plus and for the scent i'm using blue jasmine and royal fern fragrance oil so the making is extremely easy. Weigh the distilled water. I'm adding the sodium phytate. As I said, it's a chelator. You can use EDTA if you want to. Sodium uh, phytate is natural and it is EcoCert and Cosmos approved. Then we'll be mixing till fully dissolved. Very plain and very easy a key later is strongly advised then i'm um, adding now natural smooth which is the snow mushroom it is quite thick and it is quite important because it is amazing to the skin and of course it does help with the product sorry then we're gonna be mixing some more till it is completely dissolved it's gonna take a little bit of time, but you have to be patient. Now to the diamond extract. I got a lot of questions about this particular extract and what it is. It is basically a diamond extract. You can find it at the uh, formulator sample shop. Now I'm adding um, the sodium PCA. It is a very strong humectant. It is quite pricey. So you can definitely use glycerin or even propondyl. But sodium PCA is not sticking. Then I'm using the argan oil water soluble. It is PEG or PEG free. Uh, material I got uh, directly from the supplier. But you can definitely use Shia 50 from wholesale supply. Plus it is a water soluble oil. Okay, and then I'll be mixing some more. 
I love making uh, body mist and body, sorry, 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 face mist and face tonics or toners because the uh, choice of ingredients is uh, limitless. Now, to the star ingredient, the Malachi extract, I was uh, lucky enough to get a sample from the supplier, the main supplier, but you can find it uh, at Makesy. I bought those small um, samples last year, last October. They had kind of a sale and I got like 20 or 30 of miniatures or samples uh, at a very good price. I think that those are $7 per piece, but I got them for like $2 a piece. This particular extract is part of a collection. The other ones are Olivine Esti, Rhodolite 2, Zinc Sites, and Himalites. And, and they are all beautiful, but this one has this specific beautiful color. Then I've added Germo Plus, which is the preservative. Then I'm going to be using Polysorbate 20, which is a solubilizer and a refatting agent. Plus, I'll be adding the uh, fragrance oil. Of course, you can use a very natural or all natural solubilizer if you want to. This particular method is very crucial to have a clear product. So I've measured the polysorbate 20. Then I'm adding the blue jasmine and royal fragrance oil from Mexi. It smells just awesome. It, it smells like a Moroccan spa. Um, yeah, it's very, very nice. And of course, it goes with the theme. So I mix both together to create my cells. Then I'm adding the mixture bit by bit. Don't worry about the foam. It's going to disappear later on. But it is very crucial to add small portions in order to get a clear uh, product. So we're not using any other colors or any dyes or anything of a sort because the Malachi extract does it for us. Now to the fun part, adjusting, testing and adjusting the pH. I've got a few pH pens. This one that wasn't really expensive, I think it was $70. And this one that was around $250. You can use the strips if you want to, but I really strongly advise to get a professional pH meter. I've got a HANA meter, which I cannot, for the life of me, remember where I've put it. Probably I forgot it somewhere. Anyway, so adjusting the pH, uh, I'm using a 50% uh, solution of citric acid. And yeah, that's about it. That's all. Then I'm pouring the uh, solution into the container, a glass bottle. And uh, yeah, I'm going to add the sticker. And of course, the stickers are not professional. I don't sell my products. They are purely for personal use. And here we go. This particular project or product is part of um, a collection. Uh, we'll be sharing very soon the uh, biphase essence and, of course, the uh, Blue Lagoon face wash. So wait for it. For the full written formula, please join my Facebook group. It is free and you'll find the link to it in the description box. And that's about it. If you like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you very, very soon. And thanks a bazillion for watching. Bye bye.